Here's my hot take. I think that the industry's gotten it wrong. I don't think FinOps should roll up to finance, and I don't think it should be predominantly financial people doing it. I think that FinOps practitioners should be engineers by trade who happen to delve in the FinOps. And there's a couple reasons for this. One, like I said, once you pick the 20% of the initial contractual loathing you fruit, you really can't make progress on the meaty, difficult topics um, unless you have an engineering background. Number two, FinOps is probably 80 to 90% psychological. Like it is about influencing other humans um, to behave differently than they behaved before. And if there's anything I've learned about engineers, they will not listen to you. You cannot influence them unless they respect you and they do not respect you unless you have technical chops. So um, I think FinOps practitioners frequently find themselves paralyzed or surprised when they are unable to influence these other humans to behave differently. And then lastly, you really, if you've lived the life and you've built and ran cloud environments, when you go to pick up an AWS bill and you read it, you can actually read the story of what's happening. It's like, I've been there. I know what that's like. I know the pain that's happening with the engineers today. I'm empathetic. You know, I understand that they picked this kind of janky technology, but I've also been there, so I understand why. So your recommendations will be much more appropriate, much more surgical. You won't be recommending technology that's, that is reasonable to you, but crazy to them. Um, you'll pick sort of middle of the road solutions. So I think there's a myriad of reasons why FinOps practitioners should be engineers first and finance second, but those are some of them.